So the title here has a basic problem, and probably not a basic problem, if I'm going to be honest. Let's explain the easy one first. So here we have a list. Hopefully you knew it was a list because we've got the square brackets. We have a list called numbers, and effectively we've got max and min as a function or something we can call, and that's baked into Python. So the max number, it just refers to the maximum value of the list numbers. That's just how we write it. We're also giving us the minimum number of the out of the numbers list. So we've got max number, min number with the, the functions take us there. And we can display that here, which is eight and two. But that's where we get slightly more complicated now. And I've gone one in there now. There is a function called sort, which we can do straight off the bat. We don't have to do all this work, but this is just to show you the kind of problem solving ways in which we do this. So all of this can be replaced with sort. So it's not, not really a problem that we need to walk into. But let's see if we can look through this. Now, the definition here is probably more complex if you don't look at the bottom part. So I will get to the definition of the function in a moment. What we're starting with, because nothing's been called, this is just defining things, until this first line here, really. That's the first line that uh, Python is going to attack because it's going to ignore a definition. And it's saying that we have a numbers list, much like we had up here, and that's it. We've just got a numbers list. Now we're saying that the sorted numbers, which is a new variable, is going to equal a new function here that we got up here, the, the sort list function. But this nums thing here is going to always refer to this list. So we can paste a list inside a function. Okay. So now that we've got that, it's being called because it's sort lists with a bracket has been called and is going to print those those values off there or that list off. So what's it going to do? We're not going to do each iteration. It's going to go through each iteration and it's define this function of which now we're looking wherever I see nums, I'm now thinking this list. OK, then it's going to make a new list called sorted. and It's empty. And it, this is possibly the, the more confusing part. It says while nums, and we could, we've so, we've shown before that we can have while x is greater than three or y x less than more. We can also have while true, which is really known as a forever loop, and we can have while false when something has stopped being true. Now, what you kind of need to learn here is if I refer to this numbers list, which it does here, because remember every time I see nums, I'm thinking the list. If there Values in here, it is true. As soon as all the values disappear, the list has gone and it is now false. So what it's saying is while there's still a value in nums, while there's still a value in the numbers list, of which there are five here, you'll continue to loop. And when you run out of numbers, that's when I'll stop. So that's really the most complicated part, I would think, of this whole this whole function. So the first thing to do here is um, while the while this numbers list still has numbers in which it does, we're going to look at the minimum here. And we're going to say minimum, new, new variable, equals the minimum of this here, which is two. And we're going to append the sorted list, which is empty, with that minimum value, which is two. So that two is now going into this sorted list. And now, while we, wherever we see nums, we're thinking of this list, we are going to remove that value. So numbers has now had two removed from it and added into the sort list. And we go back round and it says the minimum now, which was two before, is now the minimum of this list, which has not got two in it anymore it's now got three as the minimum number. So it's going to add three to this list. So it's going to be two, now three. And then we are going to um, remove it. Then we're going to keep going around. So now five will be the smallest number that it now removes from this list. Sorry, it puts into this list first and then removes from this list. Then it will go to only seven and eight left in this list. And that will be seven will be added and the seven will be removed. Eight is added to this list it is now removed but when i come back around here because this numbers list is now empty it will stop the loop so that's actually quite a complex sorting algorithm that we have there um but it's one that demonstrates logic that we have to kind of go through so 
yeah, like I say basic problem solving. Uh, it was quite quite a difficult one actually to, to hit you with first off, but a really useful one to have a look at. So there we go. Um, hopefully you didn't find that too bad.